Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I've got some exciting news for you. There's a new show coming to Paramount Plus that I can't wait to share with you. It's called The Doll Factory and it's based on a novel of the same name by British author Elizabeth McNeil published in 2019. The book was a huge international bestseller and even earned the title of the New York Times editor choice. So, it's no surprise that Paramount decided to adapt this gripping story for the screen so quickly. I can't wait to see how this series turns out. Now, let's dive into the heart of the story. The Doll Factory is set in 1850 in the bustling streets of London. Our main character is Iris, a young Victorian woman with a burning desire to become an artist. However, life has a different plan for her. She finds herself working at a doll factory alongside her twin sister Rose where they paint doll faces for a rather ruthless boss. But here's the twist, Iris secretly paints herself in the nude at night to hone her artistic abilities. Her world takes an unexpected turn when she meets Louis Frost, a talented artist from the Pre-Raphaelite movement. Louis asks Iris to model for him, which sends her on a path towards realizing her dreams of becoming a professional artist. However, achieving her lifelong dream comes at a price. She must leave her sister Rose behind and sacrifice her reputation as a modest Victorian woman. And of course, there are more men who cross Iris' path including Silas, a taxidermist with dreams of riches and fame. Even though Iris forgets about him, he becomes obsessed with her, believing that she holds the key to his success. In a nutshell, this series explores themes of sexuality and challenges the patriarchal system of the time, making it a captivating period drama that's right up my alley. Now, let's talk about the talented cast bringing this story to life. Iris is portrayed by Esme Creed Miles, an English actor you might recognize from Amazon's original series Hannah. Her sister Rose is played by Mirren Mack, known for her roles in Netflix Sex Education and The Witcher Blood Origin. George Webster takes on the role of Lewis, the artist and you might remember him from Disney's comedy series Wedding Season. And remember Silas, the obsessed taxidermist? He's portrayed by Anna Hardwick, known for her work in projects like Normal People and Lakelands. But wait, there's more. Charlene White and Pippa Haywood also joined the cast in undisclosed roles, adding to the intrigue of the series. And for all you Outlander fans out there, Nell Hudson, who portrayed Larry, is also part of this exciting new project. Unfortunately, we don't have an image of her character just yet. And the final surprise is Erin Quinn from Derry Girls, one of my personal favorites. She's part of the cast is well known though her character remains a mystery. Now, let's talk about the production and when you can expect to see the doll factory on your screens. The filming is already in the can and the show is eagerly waiting to be released. As of now, there's no official teaser or trailer but we do have those intriguing first look images that I showed you. As for the release date, we know that The Doll Factory will debut on Paramount Plus in the UK and Ireland in late autumn, which strongly hints at a November release date. For our friends in the United States, there's no specific date yet, but I don't think they'll make you wait too long. You'll either get the series simultaneously with the European audience or have to wait just a few months. I'll keep you updated as soon as I get more information. Well, there you have it. Everything we know about the doll factory so far. I hope you're as excited about this series as I am. Have you read the book? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button, share this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates on this and other exciting shows. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon.